Bibles are next week. I did not break your Bibles on a curve. I mean, I will break your Bibles on a curve. Your final will be on the curve. <laughs> it's a good impression, huh? Almost sounds like Bill Clinton. Yeah. It's hard, though. Yeah, it'll be curved. Well, good afternoon, class. We're going to talk about the Clinton 90s. It's a special meaning for me because it was the 90s. <laughs> so next Monday at 3 is your final. Um, the final is going to be consisting of some material from the first half of the class, roughly about... 20 to 30 percent of the final is is from before the the midterm exam. The midterm exam cut off at about the 1920s. Okay, so after that is where a majority of the exam comes from. I would suggest going on Blackboard, checking out the study guides as you guys study. Um, also the 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 thought paper, the second one is due as well um, on that day. Um, and what's going to happen for that is you're going to email that as well as give a hard copy. Um, I actually will not be with you for the final. We will have a sub. Okay, but she's basically going to give out the final and collect the papers from you and put everything in my box. Um, grades have to be in by the next, the next Tuesday, so I try to get them done as soon as possible without, you know, with doing a good job, I mean, obviously. So probably by the end of the week, Friday or Saturday, you should see something on Blackboard. Okay? So, Bill Clinton. I think we ended up talking about him and just a few things here. <laughs> so yes, Bill Clinton, there he is. Um, wife Hillary is in the news lately. She is going to be obviously a presidential contender. Turn down the mic here. And um, I think without any roadblocks, she'll probably be the nominee, but... Uh, the story of the Clintons starts way back in the 60s. Uh, Bill Clinton is living proof that you can be from absolutely nothing and have no prospects in your life to becoming president of the United States. I mean, the man grew up in a trailer park, okay? With no father, him and his brother, and his mom, all right? Early on in his life, uh, he did have the occasion to, through like a, a school, trip basically to meet President John F. Kennedy and not like meet him, talk him, hang out with him kind of thing, but more like just shaking hands. What's a president's do? And after that, his life was changed. He went to England to become a, a Rhodes Scholar, which is basically like one of the highest scholarships you can get. He met his future wife, Hillary Rodham, who is right here. And, of course, they fell in love and got married and stuff. And shortly after that, he became governor of Arkansas. Now, one thing that's interesting about Bill Clinton, besides all the extracurricular activities, which everyone is always interested in for some reason, um, he represents a new way of being a Democrat. Um, I don't want to get too political on you, but... Remember what the Republicans did in the 80s, right? You had Ronald Reagan, who was a really big-time conservative, and the whole idea of what government should do and shouldn't do changed, right? Like, government was now seen as, I'm 
not going to say a friend. It was more seen as a hindrance, right? Like, and that's what got, and that's what Reagan did, right? He cut taxes, slashed the budget on certain things, and the Democratic Party was really, how would you say, non-existent in the 1980s in the elections, right? I mean, they really didn't have much to offer for the American people, who seemed to be in the mood for conservatives running the government. And so understanding that, you have a guy like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was not a liberal Democrat, okay? Um, he was a Southerner. He's from Arkansas. And so he's kind of a mix between... A de a, he's kind of a mix between different types of Democrats. Like, he doesn't believe in everything that somebody from, like, Massachusetts would believe, you know? about government and about what government should do and shouldn't do. He's what you call, and this is important, a new Democrat. What that means is that he's a Democrat that takes a lot of um, centrist positions. Um, central uh, Centrist means that he's not overtly liberal and he's not overtly conservative. He's a Democrat, but he's kind of more conservative than, say, like Lyndon Johnson was, for example. Yeah. He's a moderate, yeah. That's another good word for it. Centrist, moderate, somebody that's in the middle. Yeah. Well, he believes in a lot of stuff that Democrats always believe in, right? Like helping out the poor helping out the disenfranchised, like using government to do that. But at the same time, a lot of his belief system appeals to those, remember those family values voters out there in the 80s who are, they really like Ronald Reagan because he's an evangelical Christian and so is Bill Clinton. So he kind of appeals to those folks as well. And so... He's just a really strong presidential candidate, and not only that, he's a young guy, so you see him playing saxophone. There was a show back in the day when I was a kid growing up called the Arsenio Hall Show. I don't know if you knew who he was. You can't see Arsenio. He's like over here. Anyways, he would play saxophone. People thought he was cool. He had a young family. There's Chelsea. By the way, she's married, and now she has a child now. So Hillary's grandma. Anyways, and this is Bill Clinton on the very first choose or lose presidential debate on MTV. It's the first president to go on MTV, and of course, very famously, people asked him, would you try marijuana? And he goes, well, <laughs> I experimented with it, but I didn't inhale. People thought he was cool. Because, yeah. Pretty funny stuff. So in the election of 1992, you have a three-way race. You've got Bill Clinton, a Texas billionaire that's an independent candidate named Ross Perot, who you see right here, and this is the outgoing president, George H. Bush. Now, what from last time, what really did George H. Bush in was the economy. You might remember George H. Bush got us involved in a war that we promptly won, right, to defeat Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Yay. But once the war was over, the economy was doing so poorly that President Bush could not shake the, um, the stigma that he just wasn't doing enough to help out the American people. And so along comes Clinton. And I think, too, what's interesting is that if you look at this election, you've got Perot here who takes away a lot of votes, 19, almost 20 million votes away from Bush. If Bush would probably have gotten those 20 million votes, we would be having a very different history discussion right now. But Bill Clinton was able to win in part because Ross Perot came along, and he was a guy who basically didn't really fit into any category, but I think some from time to time you have third-party candidates in America who speak to things with a 
two parties just won't talk about. It, because he didn't care. He had nothing to lose. But he spent like, I, th I think he was, I can't remember how much money he actually had, but he spent a huge sum of his own fortune on the campaign. But he actually ran again in 96. But anyways, here we are with Bill Clinton. And this is a presidential debate, which is a pretty cool debate for the first time that I can remember. You actually had three people debating. And Bill Clinton was able to win because of, I think, his youth, the fact that he had better ideas probably than Bush did for fixing the economy. And who knows, maybe the American people, for whatever reason, were interested in something a little bit newer, fresher. And so what I'd like to do to start off class is just um, give you a broad overview of Clinton in the 90s. Um, this is a very short, I think it's a seven or eight minute clip about Bill Clinton and his presidency. And afterwards, we'll go in depth on him a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is, this, is, this is fun because this is actually the first president I actually voted for. He's still around, by the way. Still around. Yes, he, and he should be. And what's he going to be called when Hillary becomes president? Well, the first man lady. The first man lady. <laughs> the first dude. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 